Hello everybody, and today I'm going to do a video about Necron Immortals. These are modeled with a Gauss Blaster, but because I prefer the old models, I haven't actually got any Tesla Carbine um, Immortals. So this video is about Tesla Immortals, and these are just standing, okay? So let's go over a few hints and tips on Tesla Immortals. If you've already seen my other video here, most of the tips in that will carry over to these. And I thought I'd go over a, a separate video with these with Tesla weapons, simply because you have to use them completely differently. Well, slightly differently. Okay then, the first thing you want to do with these, same as the other video, is keep these in cover at all times. Okay? Try and get these on an objective, if possible, or able to get an objective after the first turn and move on to an objective. So that way, you get, always have to observe. All right. The main reason why you want to keep these in cover and an objective, if you possibly can, turn one, is they are objective secured now. So they'll hold it and it'll be, almost, it'll be really hard for your opponent to get that objective off you. But if you are taking Tesla models, right, to get the most out of them, they really do need to have an overlord, my will be done. Okay. So you've got to have one of these with Tesla models to make them any good. And what he does, we give him plus one to hit is on a 5 plus instead of a 6 plus, you get 2 hits for each 5 you get, not a 6. So in theory, it's gone from a 1 in 6 chance to get 2 extra hits to a 1 in 3 chance. So that's doubling your chances from 1 HQ. But one bit of advice I'll give you now, do not take HQs for immortals, okay? What I mean by that is if you've got a detachment that you have to have 2 HQs, only take 2 HQs and then, then invest in 2 in Tesla immortals. Don't say I want four Tesla models and have four overlords, because that's just a waste of points. The HQs are your tax to play the game. They're expensive, but usually the right units, they're very, very effective. So if you take the three command points when you have to have two HQs, so depending on your strategy, you should probably always have at least one overlord. So check him there. And then you'll give a buff to that unit there. But the well, one form I've noticed when you play games with good opponents is it will focus fire down your models if they find them a threat. Turn one or two, they probably be they will probably die. So the best trick is have two units of Tesla models, if possible, in range of the Overlord. So by doing that, okay, if one unit gets wiped out, you got a second one to fall back on. I would not recommend taking the Resurrection Orb if you're using them with the models, because to get your points back without a Crypt Deck, on average you need to have 9 extra reanimations to get the points back for the Orb. You've got 1 in 3 chance of each, each one, and you're free to come back to pay for the Orb. So if you don't run in a Crypt Deck with the models, drop the Resurrection Orb, because that's 35 points you can put elsewhere, okay? So one of the main problems by doing this now, having 2 in range, is they normally can't get a cover safe because look how much space they take up. And not only that, if you're doing that, you cannot hold two objectives like this because you've got to keep them in range and you can't daisy chain them because they won't have any cover saves and they'll die. So, a much better investment than a resurrection orb if you have a few spare points is drop the overload altogether and take the catacomb command barge. Yeah, the reason why you take the barge over the Overlord is wave of command is 12 inches. So if it's not if you think about this, right? It's not 12 inches. It's 24 inches. Okay. The way you work this out, right? They're there inside your board, holding objective X, like number five. He is 11.5 inches away, and then you're free to add another unit of Tesla models over here. Like so. We measure it exactly a few inches away, but also have a little bit just in case. So by doing this, you effectively have a 24 inch bubble for my will be done. And not only that, you're also able to hold two objectives if you're lucky, and you'll have to cover saves on both units. So on turn one, you wipe these out because you've got two left, and you begin your next turn, you my will be done, this unit. So they will be the anti horde. And the other one can just spend a few turns reanimating, and they still got a lot of firepower. They got a lot of oomph. It is essential that you have my will be done on at least one unit of models per turn. Another bit of advice I will give you, okay, 
is Immortals of Tesla absolutely suck if you find out I'm with 3 plus armor save. Okay, because if you have a, a good opponent, let me watch this now. If I have these here, they have a 3 up save. Okay, they have infantry. But all they gotta do is touch cover, like so, to get that 2 up. And I know mathematically, you know, you'll kill so many if you roll so many dice. But this isn't a joke, right? It's one game. I had two obelisks shooting into a unit of orc boys or something. We had a two up save, two up jink. I put 74 wounds, not, not hits, wounds on that biker, the biker unit with two up. I took one wound off it. 74 wounds. Never ever underestimate a two up save with Tesla. You can single handedly screw you over, okay? It happened to me several times if I just take Tesla. So if you are going, if you are going to mortals, I would recommend you have at least one or two extra Gauss blasters in there. So if you want to have two units of Tesla for your anti horde, one command barge and maybe a command barge and an overlord if you're feeling lucky. I would recommend you have some with a Gauss blaster. If they get into close range now and you shoot all this into them, and so you just kill like the one. It does happen, okay? I don't care what you say, it does. Next turn then, he's over there in your face, touching the cover, so you got two plus from your overwatch. And then he's assaulting you and you're dead, okay? So if you had a unit of normal Gauss Blasters, there's minus two to hit them, so you got four up. And they might be, they should be in rapid fire range anyway. And if they're not, it doesn't matter, you got ten shots into them, minus two. So the basic point is, these are really good for anti-hordes. If you use them as your main anti-horde, um, option in your army, so if you don't take anything else that, that deals with hordes, you have to make sure you have something to deal with a free up armor. You don't want to use like heavy destroyers into them or anything that's like really nasty because you need that for the tanks. So if you got like, f say if you got like five units of tears in your army, you might want to drop two and just replace them with the Gauss Blasters. If you got four, I recommend you drop two and have two as Gauss Blasters. You need a balance with these. So that is the main weakness is two apps. Even like terminators, they really struggle with terminators. That's what the you do need the Gauss Blasters. Okay, upgrade to the Catacomb Command Barge. I would I always recommend you drop the D3 gun. I absolutely hate D3 wounds. It absolutely sucks and it always lets me down. I would keep this as cheap as possible, give him the sword, and I would give him the Tesla cannon underneath. I wouldn't take the orb because I just told you why. Because they're too cheap to actually use the orb on. Maybe if you've got some destroyers in range as well and you want to run up and help them, then you could take the orb. But if you're just using the models and anti tank weapons and assault units, I wouldn't really bother the orb. Keep him as cheap as possible. If you haven't got the points to him, you're taking this. Give him the sword, the three point sword, and the orb. Keep it as cheap as possible because. Realistically, he will never be in combat, and if he is, you're doing something wrong, okay, or you're losing quite badly. Not with the extra points for the Staff of Light or the War Scythe, because he shouldn't be in combat. They roll the buffs now, they're not really to go and kill things like they used to be. I still love sending these guys up in the middle of the army to just kill tanks, just love it. But now they suck in combat. They are hard to kill, granted, but keep them cheap as possible as a buff. And if you have the points for it, maybe drop the second one and have two bar barges in the middle. And that way then you can buff all your mortals. You can buff two units of mortals. And let's say you have four immortals, two Tesla, two Gauss. You can bu buff a Gauss and a Tesla. So you can deal with them and you can shoot anti hordes elsewhere. That is the main way to use Tesla. Sit back and shoot all game. Because they do two shots each, just ten shots extra to pay to Gauss. And with my will be done, they will have... I think the average at around 30 hits per my will be done unit, which is quite insane really. Okay, let's talk here now. Praetorians, I'm going to have to Tesla guys, okay? Next turn, they're going to move there and they're going to assault you and just destroy this unit. What is the best way to use these? Most people will say, I'm going to shoot all these into there and try and whittle them down before they get to me and hopefully kill them in Overwatch. Like I just said, they're touching cover, so that two up, don't bother. What I would recommend with these, 
is to make one last act of glory and go for something far away with a bad armor save. They're probably going to die next turn in combat, so I would use all their ammunition into these up here. And I would absolutely destroy them. So if you, you need to make sure you pick your targets correctly with Tesla. Absolutely avoid like the plague, anything with a 3 up, especially 2 up. If there's no other options, you go from the best ar and the worst armor save. So if you kill everything with a 4 up armor, and then you go to the 3s, then you go to the 2s, and then the 2s, you go 1s, or whatever is out there. So, if you got them to shoot, they got two up, or them with four up, you shoot them over there. Okay, I know they're going to be in your face next turn, but they're going to be in your face anyway. If you get really lucky with those dice rolls, you might just kill one or two. You know, it does happen, because they have toughness of fires, you're wounding them with fours as well. So if you're shooting them over there, you're wounding them with threes. So, them. Another awesome way to buff the Tesla with the Catacomb Command Barge. So you have this guy buffing them, so they hit on fives. On fives they get extra hits, and they're hitting on twos now. If you use this guy, the, kind of, uh, the truck stalker, I would run this guy as cheap as possible, so I give him the heat ray. And I know it seems counterproductive to use a heat ray on the them over there, so you move up to one, like, Ugh. take a shot at them with Maltas. You're like, why the hell are you shooting them with Maltas for? It's, it's a waste of money. And then you've got two units of my will be done to, as the models, destroying it. So that could be a unit of twin geniuses over there, F uh, four or uh, five up. So you're hitting on twos, you're on ones, and fives are extra hits. Absolutely lethal. And not only that, see, he's also good if you um, use him with your models, because after you've like done all your damage with the hordes, he's free to go and attack tanks. And he's also will help your anti-tank weapons as well, so it all depends on what army you're up against. So if you're up against like, a mass heavy monstrous creature unit, you take shots at them, then use your anti-tank weapons, and then use the Tesla to finish off those last wounds. So the Tesla weapons are also quite good for tanks, because if you shoot this with a, uh, this with a tank, you hit through the tanks, so you have like two or three wounds left. You can shoot them at the tanks, so they're hitting on twos, rolling ones. They'd probably be wounded on a five. So the damage output's not the best, but it's still able to wipe out tanks and finish them off. So if you haven't used the stock with the Tesla models, give it a go. You'd be surprised how effective that rolling one is. Especially if you're forced to shoot things to two observe. You need every hit you can get. So thank you all for watching and I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you all in the next one.